were working with cloning vectors in the previous lecture. There we were discussing like how plasmid acts as a cloning vector. We will just have a quick recap of this board and then we will get into another technique. I told you like vectors will help to carry the desired DNA. For that we can take PBR322 as a vector. Here is a structure of PBR322. What are the characters a vector should possess? It should have origin of replication so that it can originate its own replication. This is RI site which helps in replication, origin of replication. It should have ROP gene. ROP gene means it codes for the proteins which are required for plasmid replication. Plasmid is autonomous replicating element. So, because of this ROP gene only, the PBR can replicate on its own. It codes for all the proteins which are required for this replication. It should have two gene markers. PBR has antibiotic resistant gene markers. One antibiotic resistant gene marker is ampicillin, other one is tetracycline, right. Into one gene marker, we will introduce our foreign DNA, the other gene marker will help us in selection. There are two methods for selection, one is master plate replica plate method. How do we do this method? For that, take the foreign DNA, take the PBR vector. What is this vector? This vector is PBR vector. Now then digest both of them with BAMH1 restriction enzyme. When you digest it, it opens. The BAMH1 sites are here, sticky ends. BAMH1 sticky ends are here with the foreign DNA also. Then give DNA ligase, join both of them. When you join both of them, you will get a recombinant vector in this manner. The recombinant vector, if you see, it is having its amphicillin gene, but its tetracycline gene here, in that place you gave the foreign DNA. So it is tetracycline sensitive it lost the tetracycline resistance capacity, it became tetracycline sensitive, then transform into the host. When you transform into the host, one host took it, another host is a lazy host, it do not participate in transformation only, non-transformed bacteria. This is transformed bacteria with the recombinant DNA, it is a recombinant. So then this is a transformed bacteria, it did not take the recombinant vector, it took the normal vector which is having both ampicillin resistant gene also intact, tetracycline resistant gene also intact. So like this you will get three types of bacteria. Which bacteria you want to do bioprocessing and cloning, where your gene is there, where is your gene there, in this bacteria your gene is there. Means we want to eliminate this, we want to eliminate this and we want to go with this bacteria. For that you need to do selection. For that selection we will take a petri dish. In the petri dish take nutrient agar medium. In that nutrient agar medium, add an antibiotic ampicillin. When you add ampicillin, in these three bacteria, here there is no plasmid. So, means it is ampicillin sensitive also, tetracycline sensitive also. It will die if you give ampicillin also, it will die tetracycline also. So, one is not growing there. Second bacteria children, it is ampicillin resistant. So, second one can grow. Third one is also ampicillin resistant. So, two and three colonies are growing, one new eliminated. Now, in replica plate, Again take a petri dish, again take nutrient agar medium, this time take the second antibiotic tetracycline, then take a cheesecloth, press it here, take the impressions here, press it here, take the impressions here, then 2 will stick here, 3 will stick here. 2 bacteria, can it grow in the medium that tetracycline is there? Is it having tetracycline resistant gene marker? Here is 2 bacteria. Is it having tetracycline gene marker or it disturbed because we kept our desired DNA, it got disturbed? it cannot survive. Whereas this one tetracycline gene is there, it will survive. So, 3 will survive, 2 cannot survive. Which one do you want? 2 bacteria na, 3 bacteria na. We want second bacteria in which the desired DNA is there. We want second bacteria in which the desired DNA is there. So, go to the master plate, pick the colonies from here and then take it to the bioreactor and do bioprocessing. So, this is one method we have already discussed in detail in the previous lecture also. So, just to explain you once again, I took it. Now, we will go to the second method. What is that insertional inactivation method, right? Hope you understood this. Now, we will see the next topic. This time, for the next method, we will not use PBR vector, instead we will use PUC vector. Right, for the method, it is selection, 
which is also called screening. So, in screening what are we doing? In selection or screening, we are selecting transformants from non-transformants. Selection or screening helps us to, helps to select transformants from non-transformants. Transformants means the bacteria which participated in transformation. Non-transformant means the bacteria which did not participate in transformation. So, selection or screening technique will help us to select transformants from non-transformants or it will help us to select recombinants from non-recombinants. It helps us to select recombinants from non-recombinants, right? So, there are two methods for selection and screening. So, just now we saw one method. What is that method called? Master plate, replica plate. Master plate, replica plate method is one method. And the second method is called insertional inactivation. The second method is insertional inactivation method. For master plate, replica plate method, just now we have seen, we have taken PBR322 as a vector. Now, for insertional activation, I am going to take another vector called PUC vector. PUC vector. If we had to see the picture of PUC vector, the PUC vector will be like this. It has orisite. It has ROB gene, okay. It has amphicillin resistant gene marker also. It has amphicillin resistant gene marker also. It has only one antibiotic resistant gene marker. The second one is antibiotic resistant, it is not an antibiotic resistant marker. It is LAGZ gene marker. The second marker which is here, what is it called? This is called LAGZ gene marker. This is called lag z gene marker, right? So, this is the construction of PUC vector. Now, in PUC vector, where are we supposed to insert our desired DNA? We will insert our desired DNA at lag z gene. We will insert our desired DNA at lag z gene. Now, this is your desired DNA. This is your desired DNA. What is this? Foreign DNA. Open the lag z gene. Open the PBR uh, PUC vector. Do restriction digestion. Open the PUC vector. Means lag z gene, lag z gene. Open like this. Now give DNA ligase. When you give DNA ligase enzyme, then what happens? In between this, the desired DNA will ligate. So, your foreign DNA got ligated. So, what is this? This is our DNA vector. You will get recombinant DNA vector. Now, this recombinant DNA vector is sent into the host. Now, this recombinant DNA vector is sent into the host bacterial cell by a technique called transformation. So, we know that three categories of bacteria will be there. When we are doing transformation, we know that we have three categories of bacteria. Right, this is first bacteria, second bacteria, and the third type of bacteria. Now, the first bacteria did not participate in transformation. This did not participate in transformation, so it is called non transformed bacteria. What is it called? It is called non transformed bacteria. This did not participate in transformation, it is called non transformed bacteria. Non transformed bacteria will not have this PUC vector. Because it is not having PUC vector, will it have that amphicillin resistant gene in it? No amphicillin resistant gene. Means it is amphicillin sensitive. It is amphicillin sensitive. It is not having amphicillin resistant gene. It does not have the lag z gene also because it did not participate in transformation only. So, lag z gene also negative. 
Antibiotic means sensitive or resistant word we use. Laxate gene which codes for an enzyme called beta galactosidase. If the gene is there, positive, it codes for the enzyme. If gene is not there, negative, it does not code for enzyme. The first category of bacteria which did not participate in transformation, it will be ampicillin sensitive and laxate negative because it did not take this one. The second bacteria participated in transformation. The second bacteria participated in transformation. So, it took this vector. So, it took the recombinant vector, right. So, means it is having amphicillin also, it is having this gene also. So, can we call it as a <coughs> transformed bacteria? It is a transformed bacteria. Is it having amphicillin gene? Yes. Amphicillin resistant it has. Does it has laxate gene? Laxate gene you disturbed and in that place we kept your foreign DNA. So, laxate gene is not there. So, can I tell it is lacz negative? No laxate gene, it is called laxate negative. So, but it is a recombinant bacteria. It is a recombinant bacteria. Now, coming to the third one, this also participated in transformation. This also participated in transformation, but it did not take the rDNA vector. It took the same vector. It took the unaltered vector where laxate gene is there. Amphicillin resistant gene is also there. Now, since you opened it, since you opened it to keep the foreign DNA, sometimes before the foreign DNA comes, the vector can join by itself. When the vector joins by itself, it will become normal again. It will become a normal vector like this. Now, some bacteria, which I call unlucky bacteria, participated in transformation and took the vector also. Why we are telling unlucky? Instead of taking this vector by mistake, it took the unaltered vector where the uh, your DNA is not there. So, this bacteria took such type of vector where amphicillin is also there, laxate is also there. Now, can we call the third bacteria as transformed bacteria? It is transformed bacteria. Now, if it is transformed bacteria, is it having amphicillin resistant gene marker? Yes, sir. Is it having laxate gene marker also? Yes, sir. This is not disturbed, right? Laxate gene also it has, amphicillin gene also it has. It is a recombinant and non recombinant. Recombinant means this DNA should be there, it is not there. So, it is non recombinant. It is non recombinant. So, like this, after transformation, you will get three categories of bacteria. One bacteria which did not participate in transformation, it will neither have amphicillin resistant nor laxate gene. The second and third bacteria are transformant bacteria, they are transformed bacteria. But this one is lucky one which took the recombinant vector. This is an unlucky one which took the unaltered vector. So, which one do you want? Which bacteria do you want to pick? One in which nothing is there or three where your desired DNA, foreign DNA is not there or specifically this bacteria you want. We want only this one, right? Where the desired DNA is there, then how to do it? Then take a Petri dish. Take a Petri dish. What are we doing? Take a Petri dish. Prepare nutrient agar solution. Take a Petri dish. Prepare nutrient agar solution. Solidify the medium. Pour it inside and add an antibiotic ampicillin. Add an antibiotic ampicillin. When you add the antibiotic ampicillin there, when you add the antibiotic ampicillin there, come on tell me. One first bacteria, can it survive? Is it having the resistant gene? Nothing is there. It cannot survive. So, one will not grow there. Second one, amma, ampicillin is there, right? This is ampicillin, it is there. Ampicillin resistant gene is there. So, two will grow. Third bacteria, this is also ampicillin resistant, it is there. So, second bacteria is growing, third bacteria is also growing. Second one also has amphicillin resistant gene, third one also has amphicillin resistant gene, two and three both are growing. Now, what happens? Along with amphicillin, add a substrate called X galactose, synthetic galactose. Along with amphicillin, add a substrate called X galactose. Now, this X galactose, what is it? It is a substrate. If the enzyme is present, what is the enzyme? The enzyme is called beta galactosidase. We studied it in Lagopron molecular biology chapter. 
that laxed gene codes for beta galactosidase enzyme this beta galactosidase gene if it is there laxed gene if it is there it codes for if the laxed gene is there it codes for beta galactosidase this beta galactosidase will convert x galactose into blue color product it will convert the x galactose into chromogenic product colored product blue colored product now where is that laxed gene here nothing is there it's laxed negative check for the second bacteria this is also laxed negative second one is also laxed negative why because in the place of laxed you kept your foreign dna so will this second bacteria have an ability to produce laxed gene will it have an ability to produce beta galactosidase enzyme no because the gene is not there third bacteria let's check laxed gene is there ah? yes it is there if laxed gene is there can it produce the enzyme ah? yes it can produce if it can produce the enzyme can it convert x galactose into colored product yes sir that means the third bacteria the third bacteria will produce blue colored colonies the third bacteria will produce blue colored colonies whereas the second bacteria where the laxed gene got inactivated which laxed gene got inactivated why because you have kept your foreign dna desired dna because the gene is not there it cannot code for the enzyme because enzyme is not there x galactose is not converted to colored product so it will form white colonies so white colonies this type of bacteria will give blue colonies this type of bacteria will do which one do you want blue colored colonies where your desired gene is not there or white colored colonies where your desired gene is there we want white colored colonies so from here pick the white colored colonies pick the colonies take the colonies and go for bioprocessing so this method is easy right master plate replica plate method actually it is cumbersome because you have to do first in master plate then you have to culture them in the replica plate also so and you have you need to compare it and you need to take it so it is difficult also to compare but here in the method called insertional inactivation you are growing the bacteria in only one plate right and depending upon the color distinguishion we are picking the colonies so easy to discriminate the colors white and blue so we can easily pick the white colonies and we can go for bioprocessing or biotechnology so this is a best method what is that method called insertional inactivation inserting the foreign dna inserting the foreign dna has inactivated the laxed gene where did you insert the foreign dna we inserted the foreign dna at the laxed gene at the laxed gene we inserted the foreign dna which inactivated this gene when this gene gets inactivated it cannot produce the enzyme when enzyme is not made x galactose is not converted to colored product when colored product is not there they will give you white colored colonies so children this is about selection and screening in the previous lecture we talked about this technique master plate replica plate technique we have done it using pbr322 in this lecture we were talking about the second technique under selection or screening which is called insertional inactivation for that we will take another vector called puc vector puc vector picture is this it has ori site which is required for application it has rob gene which codes for the enzymes required for replication a gene marker should have two antibiotic resistant gene markers a vector should have two antibiotic resistant gene markers this is one gene marker this is the other gene marker at the place of one gene marker we will insert the desired dna the other gene marker will help us in identification the other gene marker helps us in identification understood so this is all about insertional inactivation or selection or screening and we are telling selection or screening helps to select transformants from non transformants these two are transformants this is non transformant non transformant means the bacteria which did not participate in transformation are we selecting is this one bacteria growed here no right means selection or screening is helping us to select transformants from non transformant again we are telling it also helps to select recombinants from non recombinants this is a recombinant bacteria where the gene is there desired dna is there this is a non recombinant bacteria where the desired dna is not there so again in these transformant bacteria we can take a recombinant bacteria we are taking the recombinant bacteria we are able to eliminate the non recombinant bacteria hope you understood this sentence also and this sentence also which comes under selection 
and screening. So then we are talking about vectors, our concept is vectors. Now under vectors we have seen how to construct a vector. We were with bacteria and we are telling if bacteria is the host, if bacteria is the host then what are the vectors? Plasmid is a vector and bacteriophage is also a vector. Quickly let us talk about bacteriophage also. Let us talk about So, if bacteria is the host, then plasmid can act as vector and bacteriophase can act as a vector. Now, plasmid just now we saw PBR322 we saw, PUC vector also we saw. Right? Now, let us talk about bacteriophages. Which bacteriophages are generally used? Means, lambda bacteriophages are generally used. Lambda bacteriophages are generally used as vectors. They are generally used as vectors. Now, if we see the lambda bacteriophage, the lambda bacteriophage, it has double linear double stranded DNA. It has linear double standard DNA. Now, if you take the DNA out, it is like this. This is a linear double standard DNA of lambda bacteriophase. In that, this end is single stranded, this end is single stranded. Now, these regions, this is the region and this is the region. They are complementary to each other. This is the region and this is the region, they are complementary to each other. We have taken the viral genome out, double standard linear DNA and I put it in this manner and I am telling this end and this end, single strands are there. These sites are called cos sites. What are these sites called in the viral DNA? They are called as cos sites. Cos stands for cohesive sites. Cos stands for cohesive sites. Now, these sites are required for cohesion, joining. When they go into the bacteria, they will join among themselves and they will become circular. For that, these cohesive ends are required. And this and this end contains the genes which are required for the uh, viral DNA replication. So, this DNA and this DNA, what are they required? Cos sites are required. They are required for viral multiplication. Cos sites are required for my viral multiplication. In the bacteria, if this virus goes, if the virus has to multiply its DNA for that, this region is required, this region is required. What is this middle region called? This middle region is called as filler DNA. The middle region is called filler DNA. Understood? Let us see once again. We are talking about bacteriophage as a vector. We took lambda bacteriophage. Lambda bacteriophage has double standard DNA. The length of the double standard DNA is 45 kilobase pairs. 45 kilobase pairs. 45 is divided into 15, 15 and 15. This end is 15 kilobase pairs. This end is 15 kilobase pairs. Center end is 15 kilobase pairs. The middle part is 15 kilobase pairs. Okay. Now, we are telling this 15 kilobase pairs and this 15 kilobase pairs are required to carry the, for viral multiplication. Whereas, this filler DNA which is at the center, the filler DNA which is at the center, it just filling the gap, that is it. It is not required for viral DNA replication. The filler DNA is not required for viral DNA replication. Now, when you understood that, can we remove the filler DNA? Yes. We will cut it off and we will remove the filler DNA. This much portion I removed. This much portion I removed and this in this place can you bring your desired DNA, foreign DNA which is a 15 kilo base pairs? Yeah, bring it. So, this is a foreign DNA. What is this? Whatever DNA you want to send into bacteria with the help of virus. This is a foreign DNA. 
plasmidoma it can take 0.5 to 1 kilo base pair of insert it is very small it can take because it is small whereas virus it can take at a stretch 15 kilo base pairs virus it can take at a stretch 15 kilo base pairs you can just remove the filler DNA in that place keep the foreign DNA then both the ends will join then send it into the virus send this into the virus and then this virus will infect the bacterial cell this virus will infect the bacterial cell now in this virus now what is there in the center your foreign DNA is there so this is foreign DNA now this virus will easily transmit the foreign DNA into the host cell it is sending see the virus is sending the foreign DNA into the host cell it will send the foreign DNA to the host cell. So, this is what is vector. What is vector? Vector means it is a vehicle. It is a carrier. It takes your foreign DNA into the host. Who is a host? Bacteria is a host. How are you sending? With the help of virus are you sending. What is a virus? Lambda bacteriophage is a virus. How much is the length of the DNA? 45 kilo base pairs. So, this side and cos site. This side and cos site. Cos sites means cos sites. These are required for viral replication. The center 15 kilo base pairs is filler DNA, not required for viral replication. Remove the filler DNA, in that place keep your foreign DNA which is a 15 kilo base pairs, send it back into the virus, virus will easily give it to the host. So, this is a technique. So, with this we finished bacterial vectors. When compared to plasmid, bacterial phase has high copy number. Bacteriophage has high copy number when compared to the plasmid DNA. This is advantageous and viruses can easily infect cells, right? So, viruses are efficient also. Viruses are efficient in transfer of genes when compared to plasmids. When compared to plasmids, viruses are efficient in transfer of genes, okay? So, this is about bacteria and its host. In the next lecture, we will talk about bacterial artificial chromosomes and then shuttle vectors and then the remaining host if uh, like plant is a host, animal is a host that we will discuss. Hope you understood the information. If you like the content, like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.